Well, welcome back. In this video, we're going to be looking at um, Zebro's copies uh, point of sale system. Let's have a read of the problem. Erase gas debt to the copy shop uh, to the copy shop by zeroing out his balance in the customer database. File two hundred. Okay, so we can see file two hundred. There's a customer database. Then and depending uh, depending a payment to each uh, to the payment log in file two hundred one. Yep. Uh, with today's date and the exact amount of his prior balance. Uh, Gus customer ID is available in file 300. Okay, so there's a few parts to this. Okay, let's get started. Um, so we'll do the obvious stuff. We'll grab 300 and then we'll copy uh, Gus uh, customer ID to our X register and we'll drop the file. What now? What now? What now? Um, so we also need the date, which is going to be an interesting one. So we need to, basically we need to access this uh, and use it later on when we're populating the uh, uh, the payment log. So I think we're going to need two uh, ex uh, Xs. So let's set up our second X for that. Let's link, and then link to 801. So we're basically jumping up to where this date uh, service is. And we're going to copy the uh, date service into M. Um, actually, we might need to have them both in the same room, so let's go ahead and link back as well. So now we've got the date stored for today. Uh, just need to make sure we don't override. Uh, well, we stored an M, that's good. So now we can actually utilize him for, um, or this XB for another thing, yeah, which is reading uh, 201. So let's go ahead and get him to grab 201 and seek to the end of the file. Cool. Uh, actually this works quite well because the date's at the start so then we can also copy um, copy from M to F. I guess I could have used the X variable in this case but uh, for now we'll use M. Yeah. Cool. So I, think this, I just want to try this to see how this goes. I think I need to handle, unless I do this a different way, let's jump, okay maybe it's the ordering that's throwing me out in this one. Yeah, so we'll get rid of this for now, and we'll do it with XA instead. So we'll go and grab 201, and then we'll seek to the end of the file. And then we're going to copy, uh, copy from M to F. So this is going to take the date from uh, XB, and then using XA we're going to append to 201. Um, then we'll drop the file and we'll grab 200. So this will sort of get us to the point where... Oops, grab 200. So this will get us to the point where we've appended the date to the end of the file at the very least. Uh, let's just, just want to test to see if this works. Uh, yeah, cool. So we got the date at the end of the file, so we're good to move on. Cool. So next what we're going to do is... Um, we're going to have to read for his customer data. Yep. How are we going to do this? We'll create a new loop and we'll test to see if. Yep, yeah, so we've still got X stored, so the customer's ID. So we're going to test to see if uh, X is equal to the, the file that we're up to. Yeah, cool. So we're open 200. We're just going to keep scrolling down here until we find the line we need. Um, so if it is correct, uh, we're going to move this out into another function called write. And in right, we are going to copy. Uh, we're going to copy the next field into M. Uh, I see the problem. Actually, this isn't a problem. So copy. We're going to copy into uh, M twice, and then we're going to use XB, who has 
we're going to use XB to open file 201. And go to the end, because this will be after the date's been added, and then we're going to get him to copy in M and F twice. And then hold, because that's all he's going to have to do, copy in the two transaction fields when we find the right one. So um, we know that's right. However, we also need to, what do we need to do? Pending, and zero out his balance as well. Cool. So we'll seek backwards too. Uh, and then we're going to override these two fields. So we're going to copy in zero, and copy in zero again, and then jump to the start of the loop. Um, so that's handling right now. We also just need to test to see if we're at the end of the file. And if we're at the end of the file, we will um, true jump to a function called end, because I love branches. <laughs> and we're going to halt in this one. Uh, else, uh, jump to loop. I think that should work. Let's try it. Did I make an error? I think I might have. Um, so what's our error? So we are copying the date. That's working. Ooh. No, that worked. Test right. Ah, hold on. I'm missing... Yeah, I'm not copying the uh, the x value in this field. I realized. Hold on, I'll show you what I mean. Yep. So I'm not actually copying the customer value in here. I'm missing that piece. So I still have to copy in the customer's uh, number to the file. So let's try that now. So now we've got the customer numbers copied, and we'll find the entry we need, yep, and we've zeroed them out. Um, oh, yep, and we've also appended them to the log, so I think that's everything. Let's confirm that one of them works, yep, and confirm that all of them works. Sorry, that one took a little bit longer than I anticipated, um, but yeah, that was fun. I'll see you in the next one.